Parker needs your credit card to put onto his room. Do you know he said the same thing in like five trips ago? He hasn't had a card for six months. Tell him, I will, but tell him his life's a fucking disgrace. Wow, look at this, we're, we're vlogging ready. This is, this is life of a vlogger, eh? It's terrible, isn't it? Horrible, isn't it? Yeah. People look at you as Mac, well. Mac, this will be the last one we ever do with this. Should I say welcome to the vlog? Welcome, welcome to the vlog. We're here, we're in Dublin. I might play the 5K tonight. The satellite I played yesterday, it was a 530 euro satellite, 28 runners, two seats, third place gets 3,700 euro. I'm sitting like two of five, so pretty confident. In my head, I had to see. I was like, all right, we're in the 5K, sweet. Um, guy opens the button. I reshove ace nine. He's chip leader. One player has me covered. Calls, has ace queen. Queen in the window. I'm dead. And then apparently the person who wants to see, after I'd left, the guy said, oh, I don't really know why I called that. I was chip leader. I didn't really need to get involved. Yeah, I wish he'd have realized that before he called and bust me out of tournament. But um, satellite, no good. We might go for the 5K anyway. Uh, but right now, I'm going to play the 250 euro Hend and Mob Championship. Nice little warm up event uh, to get the day started. Let's head in. See how it get a natural walk though, because of the shot walking in. Thank you. So we're in Dublin, we're doing the 250 Hend and Mob Championship. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Uh, can I play the 250 euro Hend and Mob Championship, please? Nice hand and mob branding around the room. It is a uh, one day, 250 euro buy. All right, we pick up the action here. Blinds are 100, 300. I have ace, jack of spades in the cutoff and under the gun, plus one opens to 700. Player to his left calls. Player to his left calls. And what would probably be a hand that I'd want a flat versus the under the gun opens some of the time, or at least most of the time. I think once we get these other two callers come in, I'm going to want to squeeze. So I bump it up to two and a half thousand chips. We get a fold on the button, small blind, and big blind. So we are back to the original razor who folds pretty quickly. We see another fold from the initial caller, and then our second caller decides to take a flop. Now this is a player who's been playing a little bit loose, playing a little bit wide, made some big bets, made some big leads in some spots that didn't really make too much sense. So we're excited to go heads up in position in a three bet pot with our ace jack suited. Close to seven seven or eight K in, uh, in the pot. Flop is ace, ace five, rainbow. And I bet 600 chips. We go for the 10% just because I feel like this player is calling incredibly wide pre-flop. I lock the board up pretty hard. And they do call the 700. The turn is a 6. And we're now at a point where we want to start trying to get stacks in. I think it's very easy for us to still just, given the size of the pot preflop, we go for 3600. If our opponent calls a turn, we can easily come with, we shove the river with about 10,000 or so back. But opponent releases what I imagine is a very weak hand on the turn. And because they put all these nice big red chips in, I drag what looks like a big pot, but a nice small win with the ace jack of spades. Okay, this next hand, we're playing some 200, 400, and we open on the button to 800 with, trust me, because I'm not sure I flashed my cards correctly here, king, queen. Uh, a three bet from the small blind off around 20 big blinds deep, kind of a shallow stack, makes it 2200, and we decide to call with king, queen. There it is underneath my big fat hand. Uh, I'm a new vlogger, you'll have to forgive me for the lack of being able to see those cards. The flop comes a very favorable, Queen, Queen, 10. Big shout out to Andrew Nimi, one of the true OGs in the live vlogging game. Our opponent continues with a bet, a very small one as we might ex uh, expect. Shallow stacks, um, three bet pot, not many chips left. It's 1200, we're gonna click call with the three of a kind. The turn is a jack, which does complete ace king. I'm a little bit concerned about that. My opponent goes for a check. Uh, and I think probably I could do either here. I think maybe I prefer a bet just because checking back kind of shows that I have some showdown value and I'm willing to showdown my hand. 
I, I kind of want to bet sometimes to, you know, so that I can still have some, perhaps, more air in my range. There's less than a pot size bet left, so checking we're still going to be able to get all the biscuits in at the river if we need to or if we want to. The river is a seven. Our opponent checks again. We're very confident that we have the best hand. Uh, and as I say, we started about 20 big blinds deep. We've already put about seven in each, so I go for the pot size all in. Very quick fold from our opponent, and we pick one up with the king-queen. We've, uh, at this point, we've got Finton Hand, Adam McCola on the rail. They've bust the tournament. Very sad. Very sad scenes indeed. You all right? Yeah, good. You guys just, you boys just take, you two taking a beer break or what? <laughs> We've got GJ Reggie on the table next to us, who recently won 60,000 euro in Bratislava. And as I peace out change for my opponent, we pick up another hand. This time we're in the cutoff with great peel again there. Ace five of hearts. You're just going to have to trust me on this one. That was ace five of hearts. We bump it up to 800. And the small blind is coming in for a call. Button having folded, of course. And the big blind comes along for the ride. So three ways to the flop. Where we do flop an ace, it is ace, jack, eight, two hearts, giving us top pair and the nut flush draw, obviously a hand I'm very happy with. I think three ways uh, in position. We're going to do a lot of betting here because the player in the small blind is kind of restricted in what they can do with the big blind still to act. Big blind's got a very wide range. So we like doing a fair amount of betting. We go for 1300. The small blind quickly calls. There it is. Ace five of hearts. You saw it. Uh, the turn is a 10. It is a non-heart and obviously completes a Broadway straight on the board. I decide after my opponent checks to check back. Obviously we have top pair, but it's nice to keep some aces in the turn checking range so that we can potentially bluff catch some rivers. Um, and with the hearts, obviously we have the insurance policy of the flush draw. The river is a nine. So the board now reads ace, jack, nine, 10, eight, four liner. Any queen, any seven is a straight and our opponent bets a reasonably sized 3.3 and with just an ace in my hand it's a pretty hard spot to bluff most things are called a flop are either a pair two pairs easy for our opponent to have to backdoor straights they bet we fold all right fun hand here the blinds are 200, 400, Nine. we elect to open with Jack-9 offsuit. Dan goes my camera, get you a look into that curve at the table there. We open to elect to, I believe, 900. Did I make it 900? I made it 900, and the big blind defends. There's my 100 change, thank you very much. Uh, and as you can see, the big blind's kind of short to start the hand. Maybe around 10,000 chips, 200, 400, 25 big blinds. We got the Jack of Diamonds, the Nine of Spades. And the flop comes four, five, eight, with two clubs. I think if I'm going to bet this board, um, I'm going to bet for larger sizing. My made hands that want to want to bet this board for value, they want to size up since there's a lot of threats to the nuts. Turns five, six, sevens, clubs, they're all bad. If I have a hand like, you know, pocket nines plus, I bigger over pairs, or even my eight X wants some protection. So we do size up, we get called. The turn is a 10. Now you'll note here my opponent called kind of quickly. And at this point I'm thinking called kind of quickly, didn't think to raise the flop. Probably doesn't have a strong hand like two pair or set for the slow play or the straight. Was pretty happy to just like snap and see a turn. Feels like a draw to me. The turn is a 10 gives us an open-ended straight draw. So we go for two and a half thousand. Maybe we can fold out some like king four for the bottom pair. Maybe even, uh, you know, hand like six four. If he's feeling a little disciplined off that short stack with the pair and the straight draw, we got shot. However, calls to two and a half thousand. The river is a three. It bricks out four, five, eight, ten, three. The flush draw bricks. And our opponent's got about seven thousand left. We have Jack High. We go for it all. I think he still has some five, six, some eight, seven. Some of these pairs plus a flush draw. Obviously, flush draws that beat us like Queen High, King High, Ace High. I'm all in. Opponent folds. Whoops. There's the Jack High. We drag the pot. I think I showed it at the end. Yeah, right there, I think. Yeah, you checked. You checked. I made. Sure, I did flash it again. Oh, there yeah, you go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see the board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you see any of my cards on that board? 
We are once again playing 200, 400. We've shot it up to 800 chips with a jack nine of diamonds. Player in the cutoff has called us. Uh, we're getting a little bit wide, maybe, with our under the gun one open, but it's okay. I'm on holiday. I'm treating myself. Flop is four, five, four with one diamond. Honestly, I feel like I could bet here um, just to clear out some of the queen high, king highs that I'm an underdog to. The turn is a three diamonds, and as you can see, my opponent went check, check very quickly on the flop. I pick up this flush draw. I feel like he has a lot of queen highs, king highs, and of course, a bunch of ace highs. I go for a small bet. With the intention just to bet twice and probably get called by some ace highs and fold them out on the river. The river bricks, we do not complete our flush draw. It is an offsuit eight, which I don't think is a card he's going to hit very often. So I'm still just, you know, quite confident that he's high card dense. Obviously, the most obvious calls on the turn to fold the river are the diamonds, but I think he floats pretty much all of his ace highs twice. In hindsight, maybe I just go two big bets here because I go for these two small bets to make him feel like I'm just value betting really thinly uh, and make his ace high uncomfortable. I snap table my hand and as you can see, he's a little confused, looks at it, tries to work out if I have a pair. I do not, nor do I have a flush. He makes the call with ace jack of spades, calls the ace high twice. It's kind of what we put him on. I think my sizing was just a little bit too enticing. I was trying to represent some thin value hands, but he's having none of it. He picks us off and we get put in the bin. We have two nines with the nine of hearts. Uh, we're playing 200, 400 blinds. We made it 900 preflop and got three bet to 2,500. We're raising under the gun. Three bet comes from under the gun two. So we are out of position to a flop of Jack, 10, eight. Three hearts giving us a straight flush draw. The flop, we check, uh, our opponent decides to check back. I think this is a very, very reasonable situation for our opponent to check. They want to keep some strong hands in. The turn is a four, and as we can see here, I check again. My opponent bets two and a half thousand. We don't want to go anywhere just yet with our pocket nines. We still beat these ace queens, ace kings, or hands that start to bluff. And we have the straight flush draw. The river is a three of spades. So the board bricks out, we don't make a straight, we don't make a flush, we check again. I think this is quite natural, I don't think we're going to start leading. All that's going to do is make our opponent put chips in with the hands that beat us and shut down all their bluffs. So we check and they bet 7,000. At this point, it's kind of a rough spot. Um, I do think they still check back some strong hands if they bluff even with something like ace-jack or king-jack pre-flop and flop a jack. They may want to check back for pot control. These boards, even though... With the three hearts side, as you can see, we do decide to fold. Uh, even with the three hearts side, it's very natural to check hands like kings and aces and queens and, and jack x. Um, not necessarily needing to protect because I'm not going to fold any of my hearts anyway. They can't really go for three streets of value. And of course, against some of my hands, be it sets or, or, or flop flushes in my range, um, some of these hands are dead and they don't want to blow the pot. I eventually decide to fold here. My opponent later tells me that he uh, or claims it's a big claim. He claims that he had ace queen. Um, check back the flop with a double cut shot and then decided to bluff over turn the river, which I believe I think is a pretty reasonable line um, to take. But seems like we did get bluffed off the best hand here with the pocket nines. Wow, look at this big stock of it. There was a guy from Hungary, yeah, he says we play a lot online, but uh, I think he bluffed me. I folded a pair and he had ace queen high, I think. I didn't have a very strong hand, but I didn't think he would bluff. But now I know he's, he's, we play online together a lot, so I know he's, you know, he's got some moves. Okay, blinds are up now. We're playing 300, 600. We start the hand with about 18,000 chips. So we've got about 30 big blinds. And the cutoff opens. We call queen 10 on the button. The flop is king 10, 5, which gives a second pair. The queen kicker with the backdoor straight draw. It's a rainbow flop, so no flush draws out. We are in position, of course, on the button. And our opponent bets out of position for 1,200. Uh, we've called 1,200 pre-flop. So there's, whatever, three and a half thousand in the middle. They go for one third. Obviously, we're going to peel. The turn is a great card for us. The turn is a queen, which gives us two pair. Unfortunately, our opponent quickly checks. I think at this stage of the hand, um, I am still uh, giving them some ace-king that don't necessarily like the queen turn, some king jack, some king nine. I don't think it's unreasonable for them to open as far down as king six, king five suited. So they might have some of these weak top pair hands that maybe don't want to bluff themselves, or sorry, don't want to bet themselves uh, and, and check the turn. So there's still plenty of value for us here. It's still pretty reasonable for, it to, for us to expect 
uh, a call from some kings. Uh, and our objective really is just to try and be all in over the two streets. So we go for about 3,800 on the turn, with a view to being all in for about 10,000 our remaining chips on the river. Um, seems like it wasn't a great turn card for our opponent, though. They check fold. Our queen 10 is good. It doesn't go to showdown, but we drag the pot. That'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even recording. What a vlogger I am. <laughs> That's it? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about it. All right. I don't want to talk about it. I got cooler. There's nothing I could do. <laughs> Come here, I'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> All in. Call, call. I mean, call. He says a call. <laughs> Just call, but he's only All in. Break, all in. He's basking in the success. <laughs> Shalom, guys. Pocket jacks. I remain hopeful. Yeah. This is very good for me. I, I'm feeling very good about this. This is very bad for me. <laughs> good luck, everyone. Good luck. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, mate. Oh, sh this spill anything? I'll oh, just fruit bowl. Thank God. Good luck, everyone. We go chat inside or what? Dear, oh dear. <laughs> they got me. I had uh, ace deuce of spades. Guy raised, I called. Jack 10, 8, 2 spades. Three ways to flop, jack 10, eight, two spades. And it's like 4K in the pot, the guy bet 6K. And I'm like, wow, he's got a very strong hand. But I'm in a gambling mood. So I go all in for whatever, uh, 20K. And he did have a good hand, he had kings. But I'm still alive, I have the nut plus draw and an ace. So I have 12 outs by my maths. So what's that, 48% over two streets? Basically a flip. Turn is a king, he makes a set. Very good card for him. River is another king which gives him four of a kind, which is even better cut in. Uh, and right, that's it. That's the Hand and Mob Championship. And I, I, I don't know if I'm going to play later, so that might be the end of the day. Um, but whatever, fun warm up, good table, good times. We go again. What an unfortunate turn of events. Look how excited you are that I'm out. Look how happy you are that I'm out. Yeah, man, I got cool with man. I got cool with man. Well done, man. You never got cool with, but well done, man. Guy, I'd do you want a drink? Four of one kind. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I work tonight. Thank you, man. Thank you. Four of a kind, guy. Actually.